What's up everyone and welcome to our Doomfist Hero Spotlight and in this video we're going to walk you through each of his abilities while providing some insight into the hero's overall capability. Sadly no Terry Crews was used in the making of both this video and the hero but Doomfist looks like a lot of fun to play so let's jump right in. At his core, Doomfist is a highly mobile fighter with a lot of short range potential, but he can close the gap and join fights quickly with his ult. On the screen, you'll see some basic information on Doomfist, but something to note is that as of right now, he has 250 base HP and potential shielding up to 150 extra. Starting at the top with his normal left click, we have his hand cannon. He can fire out a ranged burst from the knuckles of his fist. One key thing to note about his left click, the ammo is automatically refilled over a short time whether you reload it or not. This allows him to focus on the rest of his kit while he's passively reloading. Next we have his rocket puncher right click. After charging it up, Doomfist lunges forward and knocks back the first enemy he collides with. The enemy gets launched back and if they impact the wall, they take additional damage. He does walk slower while charging up rocket punch, but not only does he get a burst of movement when he lunges forward, but the significant knockback can be used to single someone out. Like most of his abilities, people will find creative ways to use this, like for example, flanking and pushing an enemy carry into the middle of your team. As an added tip, his right click can take him out of Zarya's ultimate. Moving right along, we have his shift ability, also known as Rising Uppercut. This move is multi-purpose, but will mainly serve as a combo starter that knocks up enemies and can also be used for additional mobility. So let me unpack that a bit. Rising Uppercut can hit multiple enemies, knocking the Airborne while suspending Doomfist into the air. This also sets up his E ability beautifully, which we're going to get into next. Rising Uppercut can be used as an added bit of mobility and can be comboed with his E for even more range. To fully understand what I mean, let's talk about Seismic Slam, which is the E ability. Seismic Slam leaps him forward, causing Doomfist to smash into the ground and knock enemies towards him. Because he leaps while casting Seismic Slam, this can be comboed with the previous ability we talked about, Rising Uppercut, to move around the map. Naturally, I think Rising Uppercut into Seismic Slam, Shift into E, will be his bread and butter combo. You knock multiple enemies into the air and then group them up right after. Before moving on to his ult, I wanted to briefly touch on his passive, which is basically a temporary shield granted to him as he deals ability damage. Because he's very close range while dishing out combos and damage, the passive suits him really well and gives him that extra bit of survivability he needs while close ranged. And last but certainly not least, we have his ultimate Meteor Strike. For the duration of this ability, Doomfist goes Meteor airborne strike. and after selecting a location, he comes crashing down and deals significant damage. I see his ultimate being used to enter a fight, most likely as a follow-up ability to a teammate's engage. He can use it for mobility if he needs to get somewhere quickly and it can be used to put him in melee range for his other combos. It's also a great escape tool because he instantly vanishes and becomes untargetable. Now that we've briefly touched on each of his abilities, we're going to wrap up this video with some extra footage. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay we collected, and hopefully if we missed anything about an ability, you'll get to see it in action. Meteor Strike! Thanks for tuning in everyone and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more Overwatch content coming your way very soon. Also drop us a comment to let us know your preliminary thoughts on Doomfist as the newest addition to Overwatch. Thanks again, take care and have a great day.